Welcome, Mastrophiles. This is Pat Cosgrove for Cosgrove's Cosmos. Today, we've hit a bit of a milestone. The construction phase on the Whispering Skies Observatory has been completed, and in this video, we'll see how that work came together. Let's get started. We only had one more day of construction that would wrap things up. We had to finish off the back gable and the side trim and get the brush gaskets installed. The crew showed up very early on a very cold morning to get a long day's work in to get things done. This is a great shot of low sun and it's showing all the tire tracks in the lawn from all the heavy vehicles. That's mostly over in there. That's mostly from the cement truck, but uh, we're going to have to put fill in there and even that out. We've now contracted with a landscaper to come in in the middle of May and restore our backyard, and I'll be doing some reporting on that project as it occurs. The first task of the day was to do the trim work on the back gable so that things would be framed and ready for the shakes that would go on. Besides the wood trim, there was quite a bit of custom aluminum flashing that was cut and bent to fit each area as needed. The other thing that had to be accomplished today is to get all the construction debris off the site, including this remaining 4x4 beam that was pretty heavy and we needed a pretty good truck in order to take it away. With the trim on the top of the wall complete, we can now move our attention to the gable itself, where a set of darker shakes would be installed. This too consisted of wood boards, custom aluminum flashing, and J channels that would hold the edge of the shakes. Just as in the front, the back was done really well, and the trim was really nicely done where the roof met the walls, so when the roof was closed, again, you almost wouldn't guess that the roof was designed to come off. Of course, the steel framework sort of gives that away. But I was really happy how this came out. The next task was to do the trim on the side of the building, on the west side, where the wheels and the track uh, are exposed. This would seal up the building pretty nicely. First we had to put the trim on the top of the walls and finish off the siding. Then when they were ready for the side trim that would be attached to the roof and travel with it. The final step was to install the brush gasket. This was a strip of aluminum with uh, nylon bristles off to the side. It's mounted on the top of the wall and it engages and rubs against the trim work on the roof uh, mounted on the side of the wheel tracks. So now when the roof is closed, the brush gasket will seal the crack and it'll keep spindrift out uh, and more importantly, 
try to keep down the bugs during the summer. Gaskets were also installed at the end of the roof where the track and the wheels were so that when the roof was closed, it would seal up that portion as well. And with that, the construction phase, at least that portion dealing with the contractor, has come to a close. I'm really happy with how the observatory turned out and the quality of the work done. There's a lot of people who did a lot of hard work in making this happen, and I really appreciate all of their efforts. I wanted to give a special shout out to these two individuals. That's Roger on the left and Dana on the right. These two guys did the most work on the observatory of anybody. Everything from digging the holes from the foundation, to the structure, to the final trim, to the mechanism which helped open the roof. These guys were hardworking, dedicated, and very careful and very skilled. I appreciated not only the quality of their work, but I also appreciated um, their good humor and their willingness to put up with me as I took all the video that I used for this series. Thanks guys, I really appreciated the time we spent together. After several years of planning and obsessing, it's great to have the construction phase of the observatory complete. Now things go off on two forks. On down one path, we can start using the observatory, assuming we get any clear skies again, and I can start capturing photons, which is why this whole effort happened to begin with. On the second front, I still have a lot of projects I want to do for the observatory. I'm installing a weather system. We have to restore the lawn that was torn up by construction. I want to epoxy the floor and paint the uh, metal framework. So there's a lot of other projects that will be going on. And I'll be covering that as I make progress on those. Thanks for taking some time today. I hope you found this series on the construction of my observatory helpful and interesting. This is Pat Cosgrove signing off for Cosgrove's Cosmos. Wishing you clear skies and excellent scene.